Imagine five years from now, and let's assume autonomous vehicles have been accepted into our society. You look on the highway from vehicle to vehicle, and the spacing is perfect. The merging and yielding is seamless, there's no accidents, and even when rush hour hits, the traffic dynamically adjusts to optimize flow. This is a reality that's only a matter of time. And if you look at all global automotive manufacturers, they've been preparing for this with the infrastructure and smart technology to enable autonomous vehicles. The sensors, the cameras, the software, the overall vehicle intelligence has allowed them to release features and benefits that we've seen for several years now, and there's many more to come. They're doing this because number one, it's a key differentiator for them against their competitors. Number two, they know they can increase the vehicle safety and overall efficiency. And lastly, it's really transforming the user experience in the industry as a whole. Now let's take the same analogy applied to the manufacturing industry and look at the impact of industrial AI and machine learning. It's not a matter of if, but a matter of time. And we're already seeing manufacturers reap the benefits of these technologies. It's actually projected that a year from now in 2021, 20% of the largest 2000 manufacturers will have already transitioned to intelligent manufacturing. That means they've invested in the smart infrastructure to enable data-driven decisions through advanced analytics. These investments are providing a 7x return to these manufacturers. And it's really in four key areas that I wanted to share with you today. Number one, when it comes to quality, manufacturers are incorporating both inline and offline quality data to build predictive models to predict quality issues and prevent them before they occur. Manufacturers are doing this today with up to 90% accuracy on the models. Very effective use case. Number two is around process optimization and the ability to use advanced analytics to provide prescriptive process set points on how to improve process yields by up to 50%, as well as process throughput by up to 15%. Next, it comes down to reduce scrap, which is really related back to the improvements we saw in quality. We're seeing manufacturers save hundreds of thousands in material costs by increasing their material usage efficiency. And not only are they doing that in the ramp up of these processes, but also in the ramp down and improving or reducing the variance in steady state, which is only possible through advanced analytics. Lastly, it comes to asset utilization. This is really shifting your operational capabilities from one that today is really a reactive environment within manufacturing that can be a proactive environment through predictive analytics. This proactive problem solving is allowing manufacturers to reduce unplanned downtime by up to 15%. So these are all real results that we're seeing manufacturers achieve today through machine learning. And a year from now, you're only gonna see more manufacturers benefiting in a similar fashion. So that's why I cannot stress enough the urgency of getting started today, regardless of where you are in that journey. And you may question with the impact of COVID-19 and the economic downturn, if now is the right time, but economic downturns like this are really the perfect time to invest in transforming your operations. Because as we come out of this, the demand across manufacturing is really going to skyrocket. And therefore the importance of manufacturers transforming their operations to prepare for this is even more important. In addition, technologies like this can prepare manufacturers to be able to operate their facilities more effective remotely, which prepares them to handle a pandemic like COVID-19 in the future. Next week, we're gonna share the four key steps to transform to intelligent manufacturing. But until then, stay innovative and stay healthy, my friends.